All right, what is up, everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecasts. And today, I'm really excited about these. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. In front of me, we have two very special Back to the Future DeLorean packages from Japan. So these are 164 scale Tommy brand capsule cars that are only available in Japan or um, overseas in Asia. I don't know exactly where they're sold. I do know it's primarily Japan because that's where I got both of these. That's where they're being advertised for sale mostly. And then all the paperwork that comes with them is in Japanese. So um, the capsule cars, they call them that obviously because they come in these little plastic capsules. Now in the United States, we have capsule machines like this uh, that are in the front of some retail stores like Walmart, uh, Meyer, some movie theaters have, have them and weird like goofy toys come in them, like those little sticky hands or tattoos or different candies, but they're a little bit smaller. The capsules are built a little bit differently. Um, back in the day, the little collectible football helmets and different things used to come with them, but these are on another level. These are actually highly detailed 164 scale Back to the Future DeLoreans in each one. Um, one from like each of the movies and then I think two from Back to the Future 2 um, is how they do it because then they do just like a flux capacitor version. I think a hover mode one is in each of them. So uh, they also come with a little extra. Like I don't know if you can see that orange in there, but those are actual like fake flames that come out like the trail like it's going back to the future. Um, the second one I think comes with a hoverboard. There's a whole bunch of different things that come with them. So I'm really excited to open these. These are released two. They just came out like I think within the past month or two. Um, I got them from Japan off eBay. They were $60 shipped. Um, so a little pricey. Everything I've gotten from um, Japan has been pricey. But the quality and the quickness that it's shipped with is I've, I've been impressed with it. So just got those. Those are released two. And then last year um, I got released one. So I opened these initially, looked through them, and then I think the Back to the Future, the hover mode one, the two, had a, some part missing, and then I had to send it back and switch it out and do all these different things. Um, so this one is, I've actually opened, but I've never actually like unboxed these and played with them or, or seen any of the detail up close. So this is the first release. This is the second release. Obviously, they've come with four each. Um, I've tried to collect every 164 scale or close-ish Back to the Future DeLorean ever made, and I'm currently... Um, up to date except for the Tomica one that just came out and I have it on pre-order so when that comes I'll do a video on that too so these are super rad they're kind of tiny um, they have a little bit of weight to them now the capsule cars I did a video on last year I believe um, those were bigger ones those were from Bandai and those were closer to probably 150 fifth scale but they were sold as 164 they're like marketed as 164 as are these so these are significantly smaller than those cars but they're not too far off from other 164 scale uh, Back to the Future DeLoreans that I've gotten from uh, other brands. So once we get one open, I'll take a look at some of the other ones and we can compare them. So the first one here is the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean. As you can see, it has the flux capacitor and its extra is a little hoverboard. Um, this is the Back to the Future 1 DeLorean. It also comes with flames and then it comes with the hook. It's kind of hard to see, but when we open them, it'll be a little bit better. I just want to go over and look at them in the first, like just the first place initially. This is the Back to the Future 3 version with the white walls and the red wheels. Oh, I'm sorry. And then lastly, we have the hover mode one that comes with a little stand. So it comes with like a little plastic stand you can put it on, which is cool. So I'm excited to unbox these and take a look at them. Now, the second one also comes with very similar cars. So it comes with the Back to the Future 1 DeLorean, but this one um, has a little bit different detail. So they've switched it up for the second round. All of them have a little bit different detail and some of them come with some different items. So you can see the flames there. I think there is a hoverboard maybe but this one comes with the little flags from like the billboard that's stuck at the end where he goes back to the future and back to future three um this one comes with little einstein i think it comes with a marty because it has like frost on it so there's some really good detail in all these so i'm really pumped to open these and add these to the, my back to the future collection so i'm going to try to start and do it in order so i would do one two two hover mode and then three so let's go ahead and bust these open um, these are really unique. Now, as you'll notice, this one came in a box, so I don't know. Originally, I'm sure they came um, in these capsules, but it was probably easier just to ship it in this little box, which I don't really mind that because I don't need the capsules. They're just extra plastic waste I don't really need. And since I was opening the car anyways, I didn't really care how it came. So, oh, I'm so pumped about this. Oh, cool. That was easy. 
So these have been in the package for, um, I don't know, a year. It's been a while since I've uh, bought these. So awesome. Oh, so check that out. This comes with a little flame. Like, look at those little flames. That is so cool. And does it come with four? I don't know if it came with too many. I don't know why I need four, though. And then the hook. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, so there is the little hook that breaks off. Um, I'll try to break it off on the video, but if I don't think I can do it, I might pause it and like snip them with tools because I don't want to break it because it does it's it is a little small and I it could be fragile. I don't want to break them. So these are cool. These are little um, like glossy. I don't know what you call it, clear acrylic plastic of the flame path with which actually looks good. The coloring looks good. They're clear, so they kind of have that like lighting like they might be on fire that's awesome so it came with four uh i don't really know why it would need four i think you would only need two right unless you want to do them extra long i don't know if it just came with extra or i don't know but that looks sweet even like that heck yeah okay let's get the actual car out dun, 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 dun. nice okay so this one has the actual out of time um, California plate from the first one and it's nicely detailed too um, and it is a sticker like it's on a sticker sheet like a matchbox sticker sheet rather than like a decal which I appreciate um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get on that little teeny tiny license plate area right there um, but I'm going to try I'll probably again I'll pause it and try it so I don't ruin them um, but this car looks pretty good uh, the detail looks nice it has silver painted headlights they're not clear but they're done pretty well um, the car, the casting is very nicely detailed. Um, the wheels look good. That's what a lot of the manufacturers struggle with is getting the actual like stock DeLorean, like turbine style wheels down. And this looks really good. Um, probably the closest other ones, uh, probably the Malibu one, which I have sitting next to me, the Malibu International car. Actually, let's take a look at that now. So this is the Malibu one. I, did, I think I did a video on this a while back. This is probably one of the best 164 scale DeLoreans just in terms of overall wheel design. It comes with the built-in hook. It just looks really good. Um, it's from Malibu International. Again, it is marked in 164 scale. So you can kind of tell the size is basically the same. This one's a lot wider, uh, which I think is a, a touch. I think this one is actually has better proportions, um, but they're very close in size. You can still tell this one is a little bit smaller. And then we can compare it to um, one of the Hot Wheels ones, you'll notice that is it is a lot bigger. And again, Hot Wheels is a rough 164 scale, so they don't actually scale to 164 scale, they scale to the package. So you'll notice that the Hot Wheels one is a lot bigger, but again, this is one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings, so I really like it regardless. So this one's pretty good. This whole thing is plastic. Um, the bottom of it is very nicely detailed. And you'll notice this one has a hole in the center. Um, that is probably because they all have a hole in the center for the little um, stand because that's what that little like stick is for to stick in there and then they can go back and forth. So technically, I think you can stick all these in the, the hover mode. But you, it would look odd. But um, the wheels actually roll. I was a little worried about that because they looked a little stiff. Um, but they do actually roll. They're a little squeaky. But not too bad. So... I mean, it looks good. It even has mirrors, which is nice. A lot of uh, 164 scale cars don't have mirrors. Um, like the Hot Wheels one don't does not have any mirrors. The Malibu one does, uh, which is nice. Again, that's a really nice version of this car. Um, so this is cool. I like this. It's got nice detail. Really good looking. Okay. Ooh. Cool. And it looks awesome with the flames out the back. I don't know if there's... I'm going to open this real quick um, just to see. This is like the insert sheet that comes with all those, but there was only one with this box. Um, just to see if I'm missing anything like about the flames. Oh, it's all four of them. Okay. So it does say it comes with two sets of flames, so that is correct. And then it shows... Oh, it shows the hook and then which license plate goes on the car. That one comes with the... Um, the hoverboard, let's see which, so part three doesn't really come with the bar. It just comes with the license plate. So cool. Well, at least we know what it is now. 
All right, let's open number two, the hoverboard. This is going to be the coolest one. So um, Hot Wheels made a hoverboard. I have it. I have not opened it because it's so expensive. Um, they're nearing $200 now, um, but its package is one of the coolest Hot Wheels packages ever because it has a thing like it's clear. You can push it up and down and make it look like it's floating. If I do open it, I will definitely make a video on it. Um, but for right now, I'm going to keep that one carded. So let's go ahead and look at the DeLorean. Whoop. Oh, cool. It actually has the hoverboard sticker you can put on. So there's that. So the second one comes with the hoverboard sticker and the barcode license plate from 2015, which I'm bummed we didn't get in 2015. We just still have regular license plates. So there is the hoverboard. It again is in one of these like little plastic sheets, with, like a little hair on it or something. Um, oh, cool. It does have the little like hover detailing on the bottom, which is kind of cool. This almost looks like it's 3D printed, but I don't think it is. Um, so that's cool. So again, I won't, I'll probably pause everything after I open them all, put everything on and then show you them all completed together. So um, this one is cool because it has the yellow background for the license plate. So I don't know if they're clear. Um, this one is obviously different because it has the uh, Mr. Fusion on the back and it actually, they put extra parts in where the hook goes. So it is a different rear casting. Um, as you can see, it looks good though. So let's see, I don't think there's anything uh, different there. The white of the license plate. Um, I think everything else, like all the detail and such looks to be the same. They do both have the DMC. Might be hard to see, uh, but the actual DMC, some brands just has like a silver block there or nothing. Um, so I'm really happy that that actually has the DMC branding on it. And they both have the same bases, same plastic and everything. So cool. Look at that get a fleet of DeLoreans going here. So here is the number two. This is two hover mode. So I think I got an extra license plate um, with the, the one. If I remember right, this is the one that when I got it from the factory, it had a flaw and it was missing um, one of the rear flux, um, like I can't remember, exhaust back here. So the person sent me a new one. I swapped it out. And then I think that's how I ended up with that extra license plate too. Because I still have, no, no, I think I sent one. Ah, uh, no, I think I do have it. I don't know where it is, um, but it's broke. So here's the hover mode one. It looks pretty good. Doesn't look too shabby. Uh, looks like everything is the same up top as the two. Let's take a look just to see. Yeah, I don't really see any difference. Same yellow license plate backing, but obviously the chassis of this one is a little bit different. Yes. I'm trying to see if the actual hover mode part is in the chassis or the, yeah. So the chassis is actually exactly the same. Just the wheel assemblies are a little different. So that is cool. Hover mode. Cool. I really like that. The, the little red detail on the uh, Mr. Fusion is nice too. So, all right. Number three. As in Back to the Future 3, not Car 3. Nice. Okay, cool. So this one also comes with the license plate. Boop, right there. So I'll put that down. I have a ton of these license plate stickers. Oh, nice. It's got nice hood detail. Got the hood box, got those nice red walls, white walls, the red wheels with the white walls. This is probably one of the coolest that the DeLorean has looked. Like I really like this version, this setup um, from Back to the Future 3, but it's the shortest on-screen time, I think. Um, I think it is. I'll have to double check that, but I don't I think this um even was on there shorter than the hover mode because they use the hover mode for quite a bit in number two. So, but this looks awesome. I really like this. So uh, this is actually, is this added on? No, so this is a separate casting, casting because it's plastic. This is a separate mold um, from the other cars. So everything does look to be the same in the back, the Mr. Fusion, um, everything. Looks the same, got the wheels, doo -doo -doo, same base and everything. So that is super cool. I love that one. I think the like the hood box and the wheels just make that one. Really, really like it. Okay, make sure they all roll. Yep, doo -doo. 
cool. They all roll. So that is series one. So I'm going to get rid of some of the plastic and um, the wrappers and stuff here so I can have room for the second series. Okay, I got rid of um, the junk from the first round. So let's go ahead and open up the second series. I'm going to move this over just a second here so I don't mix up anything. Whoop. Oh, I'll keep them in frame though. Let's align them. Yeah, look at that. Hard part. Okay. Series two. What's going on with this bag? Boom. Sweet. Look at all these things. Okay. I don't know which one is which from the outside. Okay, so this is one. No, this is one. Oh, so there must be two number ones. This is number three, and this is number two. Okay, so this one looks like it has two number ones. So let's go ahead and open this one, because I don't really know what the difference is yet, because I haven't checked these out. Um, okay. Ooh, open like that. Oh, that's nice. They poke holes so the little guys can breathe. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at this. Cool. Okay. I'm looking at this for the first time just like you. So this is cool. I'm just trying to take it in. All right. So this also comes with the hook. It is the same hook, um, painted the same in everything as the first round. The DeLorean has some extra detail added which is cool. So now we have the little um, red capacitors in the back. We have the flux on the side is blue. The flux on the front is blue. The headlights, the inners are now silver and the outers are now white. So this is one, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, everything looks the same other than that. Um, this one, oh sweet. Okay, let's open this too and then we'll go through it more. So this one, this is awesome. So these come with extra. They've they've upped the ante for series two apparently, and it has the little Marty in the radiation suit given the Vulcan sign from Back to the Future one. That is so sweet. So this is like a oh, it is a it's a hard plastic. It almost looks rubber, but that is so sick. They included that. That is awesome. Okay, so it also comes with all four uh, flame like after effect or before effect right there, but they have also added, oh, look at that. Oh, now it's clear instead of paper backed like the first one. Nice, okay. They've added the blue like flash that goes in front of the car when it's going back to the future that like, that is so cool. So this is actually like the in, uh, in like fluxing mode back to the future one car. That is so cool. Uh, the, the headlights interest me. I don't know if the rest will be like that, but it might just be because of the detail. But that is so cool. Awesome. I love that. That's so cool. They made, this, this is hilarious. I love that. Okay. So far, Series 2 is looking very rad. Okay. So Back to the Future. So here's another Back to the Future 1. I'm going to push this off to the side so I know like which ones go with it. So this looks like... Maybe it looks like a frosty one, like it's already gone back to the future. Oh, come on. So let's see what this one, okay. So this is, this is the um, like frozen DeLorean with like the white speckles on it that looks like it came from back to the future. So um, it has the same color silver headlights. So that white and silver must just be like the fluxing version. Nice. That's cool. It does look frozen. That's pretty cool. Even though it's not on the glass, I think it was on the whole car, though. But I'll take it. It's a small, I mean, it's it's a kind of a small thing. So, all right, let's see what this one is. So this one has a little plastic Einstein, the dog. Does he have, yes, he does have a stopwatch on. Yes. Just a little bit of detailing, like with a marker, would make these amazing. That is so cool. It comes with the little Einstein with the flash, so or the uh, stopwatch. So this obviously is the cloud of steam or frost or whatever that shoots 
out of the car when Einstein gets back to the back from the future or the past, wherever he goes. So this snaps in here like, uh, does it go like that or does it go like this? No, it does go like that apparently. I'm just trying not to make sure I don't. So it goes like that. So it's like, <laughs> looks kind of goofy, but I haven't pushed it on all the way. But that is cool. Man, these are gonna look awesome, like diorama style. That is so cool. Also, I think I might have called this or the Mr. Fusion a flux capacitor a few times because I was having a brain fart. But um, I can't remember if I did or not because I was like, wait a minute, did I call that? I don't know. I probably called it the Mr. Fusion too, the correct name. So I'm all over the place tonight. Just ignore my hot mess messiness. So this one looks like the Back to the Future 2 hover mode version, obviously because you can see the tires, but it looks like it might be in flux, like in process of going Back to the Future as well. Ooh, this one's got a lot of stuff with it. Let's take a look. Okay, let's look at the car first. So this does have the, um, they have the same body and everything. This one has the silver headlights. There's no like mismatch white one, but it does have the blue on the fluxing on the side. It has the red capacitors, the Mr. Fusion on the back, um, the yellow license plate, but everything else looks about the same. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know, fingerprint or something on the side um this side i mean looks pretty much the same let's take a look so the the wheel color are different they almost look like a blue in real life and i wonder if that matches like the the fluxing part of it like the going back to the future part of it um but everything else does appear to be the same let's take a look um yes i believe it does i don't see anything different Go this side just to see. Yeah, everything looks the same. The mirror size and everything else looks the same. Um, but this one has the blue fluxing. So I wonder if this is like the, the that part of Back to the Future where it goes back to the future, actually. And back to the future three. So let's see what this is. There's quite a bit of stuff with this one. Okay, so this one has the same um, clear base with the stick that goes in it to make it look like it's flying. So I'll put that down there. Um, this is really cool. So this, where does this go? I'm trying to see where this actually goes. Um, if you're watching this, you're uh, probably a Back to the Future fan, but in Back to the Future 2, at the end where Doc gets stuck on um, the, what is it, the uh, line of states billboard before he goes against Marty. He saves Marty by dropping the little, like, banner that he got caught on from that billboard down, and this is it. This is so cool. So I wonder if it just sticks in the middle of the car here. Oh, sweet, it does. Okay, so look at that. That is so rad. And then it actually still has the base, so you can do it both ways. So this sticks in there, or you can take this off and do it just um, like the regular hover mode. But this is so dope. That is awesome. Look at that. That is killer. Okay. This second series is awesome. I hope they make more of these. This is truly, these are great. Okay. Oh, and we're not even done. Okay, so there is this little part. And then it also comes with a little clear stand, uh, display stand, and a clear Back to the Future decal, almost like the Legos come with, to put the Back to the Future to say what it's from, which is awesome. Little added extra in the Back to the Future font. And then it also comes with one of the clear, um, now they're clear rather than on the white, because before, obviously, you see it just a few minutes ago. The, these are the first round ones and these are the second round ones. So the first round ones look to be a little more uh, cleaner. This one doesn't look to be as clean, but they still come with the license plates either way. So that's pretty rad. So, oh man, that's so cool. This is such an awesome thing. All right, let's go on to number three here. Nice. So this is the railroad version. This is the Second three version, um, we've got a Back to the Future 3, and it is even more detailed than the first. Ooh, and this is cool. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to get, hang on, let me get a light real quick. 
and this one's actually a bronze color because in the movie it gets very dusty from when they drive it um, when they carry like the i'm trying to think what they with the horse led it through the desert um, and then at the end, it was very dusty when Marty got back to 1985 because of the whole train incident. So this one is almost like a brushed bronze color, and it looks sweet in real life. Um, and, of course, as you can see, it has the railroad tires, which are absolutely sweet. So this is the second version of a 164 scale um, railroad car, railroad tire version of the car that we've got so hot wheels just came out with a version last year or two years ago um here's the latest version of it obviously the tommy ones look tons more accurate but hot wheels is good in its own right but this one is next level like those look very accurate they actually have like i wonder if it would actually fit on a train track because it kind of looks like it would mr fusion everything else appears to be right Okay, let's look at the uh, other third one. So they added this one, at least, I don't know if it's an error, but this one doesn't have any black trim down the side, where this one does. Like, look at that. That This one looks crazy, really crazy accurate compared to the last one. And when you compare the hood boxes, it looks like everything is um, pretty much the same. There might be a little extra detail, but it looks the same. It's a darker color. It's a darker brown color, probably because of the bronze. But there you see, like, in the light, how much different, like, the bronze color is compared to just the regular stainless steel. Man, that is super cool, though. I don't think the chassis has changed, has it? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Man, that is cool, though. They're really killing it in detail on these. Nice. That is awesome. Let's see if it rolls. Oh, and it rolls pretty well. Okay, let's see what it comes with. Oh, snap. Okay, this is oh, this is so cool. Okay, first, it comes with the hoverboard, which is great because of um, that scene with the hoverboard uh, where Doc and Clara take off on it. And then it comes with another clear um, hoverboard sticker. It might be hard to see. The camera's kind of... That looks awesome. But check this out. Dude, this is so cool. It comes with a little piece of railroad track. That snaps together. Let's try it out. Let me make sure I snapped it together right. That the car actually fits on. That is so dope. Oh, that is so cool. Dude, that is awesome. That is so cool. Like, that makes for an awesome desk display. Like, look at that. These will look awesome displayed with my other Back to Future cars. Let me put some more light on it over here. That looks sweet. Dude, that is so cool. Yes, that is awesome. I'm so, so pumped about that. That is so killer. And it actually rolls on it, even though it's kind of a short ramp. That is so cool. Very nice. Okay, I'm really excited about that. Man, that's cool. That is probably the coolest one. It's hard for me to pick, but because this second one with all the extras makes the first one look terrible even though they're great these are awesome with all the extra the character the dog the everything these are so cool okay i'm gonna put the stickers on put some of the like hoverboard cut that off do all those things and then i'll be back and we'll take a final look at them um all completed okay i just got done putting all the stickers on and that was a probably 10 of 10 skill level to put the stickers on the hoverboards and the license plate stickers um i used a, a set of tweezers you cannot do it accurately without a set of tweezers and then to snip the parts off the little tree i actually use um some of my 3d printer like plastic snips because there's no way to do it um accurately without those but now that they're all done look how cool these things look so and we'll kind of go over it and look at them one by one so here's the Back to the Future 1 one. Uh, this is from the very first one. The hook fit great. No really fitment issues there whatsoever. Uh, the flame trail looks great. Uh, the car looks awesome. Um, here is a picture of what the license plate looks like. It was so hard to put these on straight and you had to do it eight times. It was incredibly difficult. But I was able to get them all on straight with no big issues. So here is the part two. The little teeny tiny... Uh, hoverboard there that is insane how small it is 
Um, but again, I got the decal or the sticker on just right on that one. So I was really pumped about that. But there is some small differences between the um, Series 1 release and the Series 2. There is the barcode license plate on that one. Um, it might look a touch wonky, but it's, it was so hard to get those on. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. So this is what the Part 2 car looks like like on the stand, which looks great. Uh, the Ertl model back from the 90s, uh, or technically I think it was a... Uh, what Oshima? I can't remember what brand, but I know it was Ertl in the United States. Um, it had a hover mode stand too, but nothing as near as tall as that one. So that was cool to see that. And then, oh, sorry. And then here is the part three one. Um, there is the license plate on that one as well. Nothing too big. The first one, I was impressed with this whole line, um, but the second one is where it really comes alive, obviously. So there is the part one car fully set up with its like, um, choo -choo -choo. I don't, I don't know what you call this, like, just like, um, fluxing shield in the front. I don't really know. Um, just the blast. And then it has this very similar, um, there you can see them both set up. They look very similar in color. There might be a little bit orange, uh, more orange hue in this one than the first one, but overall they look pretty close to the same. Again, there's the figure, uh, and then the license plates on these were a little different. So this one, um, is a little bit higher quality of a sticker, but the actual decal isn't as nice as the first one. Um, so I'll have to give those points to the series one next, uh, the after like returning from the future car, this has that white cloud. That is how it fits on there. So it fits in there. Exactly. This is the only one of them that did not come with the license plate sticker because you don't need it. A because if you're a fan of the movie, you'll know in between when Einstein left and came back, the license plate came off the car. So there wouldn't have been a license plate on it anyways. And then the cloud covers it up. So it doesn't matter that it's not there. But if you don't want to use the cloud, it is movie correct because it does not have a license plate on it, which is cool. And then the little Einstein. The second one, this is so cool. So here it is in one piece on the stand. This is how it goes. You can see right there. And then you just put the car right back. I'm probably not going to be able to do it accurately. Oh, let me see here. Just like that. And then it slides on there. And then there is the little plastic Back to the Future stand um, with the sticker on it. That one was a little hard, too, because of how large it was. Um, but it worked okay. But that looks so sick with that little um, pennant flag thing hopping off there. So here's the part three. I, I basically showed you this one before, but there's the license plate on it. Um, there's the car on the tracks. So it looks great. It also has a hoverboard, so I'll show you real quick um, the difference, just to show you the difference in quality uh, between the two um, series. So there is the difference. The first one is on the left, the second one is on the right. Not a huge difference, but there is some color and detail difference in them. I know it's a little hard to see. It's probably pointless to show them on video because they're so small. I mean, look how small they are in real life. They're so, so tiny, um, but it's awesome to see these all together. Now I just have to find like a good display stand to put all eight of them because they are awesome. Like, look how cool that looks, especially the first one, because you could do um, like the stock one, do it going back to the future and then coming back. So you have all three of those variations. And then the third one too would be kind of cool. I really hope there's a third series of these to give us even more, even though they are all the same. You're basically just paying for the extra little plastic pieces that come with them. But because they are so high quality, nicely detailed, I will gladly buy a third round, especially if they have more of this one because that is so sick. So, man, I really enjoyed this video. It was a little bit longer, um, but it, I think it was worth it because of the details on all the cars and how cool they look. I, I'm really excited about it. So let me know what you think of these in the comments. I am a big fan. Uh, I'm, I'm going to buy more if there are more. Let me know what you think or if you have those. Uh, these cars or if there's more available that I don't know about in Japan or overseas, especially if you're familiar with that market, let me know because I am trying to collect them all and then I'll have more Back to the Future DeLorean 164 content coming soon. Um, so be on the lookout for that too. So as always, I'm Sam, 64 Wheels. I appreciate you watching. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Lamely Group, all oh, Discord everywhere at 64 Wheels. Um, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the future.